Hello, today is Tuesday, March 31st. It's our last day in March. It's our last video of this month, but not of this week. Yesterday, we talked about the Last Supper. Um, we talked about how Judas was going, and for 30 pieces of silver, he was um, going to lead the Jewish leaders to Jesus. And... Um, that was all being done so that they could capture Jesus. Then, in our most recent story, or our next story, um, we're going to read about the dark night in the garden. So, Jesus, after the supper, they go to an olive garden, and they're in the dark garden. Jesus asks the disciples to stay up with him. They all fall asleep. Jesus knows that this is the end. This is when the Jewish leaders are going to come get him and he knows that he is going to die soon um, Jesus also knows that he's going to uh, resurrect again that he will raise three days later and that he will fulfill the prophecies of the Old Testament but today we're just going to read about when the Jewish leaders come and they capture him we're gonna read about um, Peter trying to defend Jesus um, but we're going to see Jesus willingly go with the Jewish leaders so that he can fulfill that prophecy and that he can die in our place. That is where we are at and I am going to begin. A dark night in the garden, the garden of um, Gethsemane from Luke 22, Mark 14, and John 18. The wind was picking up now, blowing clouds across the moon the garden was dark. Stay up with me, Jesus asked his friends. They said yes and waited under the olive trees, but they were tired and soon they all fell asleep. Jesus walked ahead alone into the dark. He needed to talk to his heavenly father. He knew it was time for him to die. They had planned it a long time ago. He and his father, Jesus, were going to take the punishment for all the wrong things anybody had ever done or ever would do. Father, Jesus cried, and he fell into the onto the ground. Is there any other way to get your children back, to heal their hearts, to get rid of their poison? But Jesus knew there was no other way. All the poison of sin was going to have to go into his own heart. God was going to pour into Jesus' heart all the sadness and brokenness in people's hearts. He was going to pour into Jesus' body all the sickness in people's bodies. God was going to have to blame his son for everything that had gone wrong. It would crush Jesus. You see the disciples, his friends, sleeping under the olive tree, and you see Jesus in the back talking to God. But there was something else something even more horrible. When people ran away from God, they lost God. It was what happened when they ran away. Not being close to God was like a punishment. Jesus was going to take that punishment. Jesus knew that what that meant. He was going to lose his father and that Jesus knew would break his heart in two. Violent sobs shook Jesus. Jesus' whole body, violent sobs shook Jesus' whole body. Then Jesus was quiet like a lamb. I trust you, Father, he said. Whatever you say, I will do. So dying for us, it was more than just a death. It was more than just him on the cross. He was taking all of our pain, all of our heartache. He was taking all of the separation, all of the darkness, all of the poison that is in this world. Jesus was taking that when he died on the cross for us. Suddenly, through the trees, a glittering of starlight flashed of steel. Into the quiet garden came whispers, muffled voices, clanking metal, and the sound of boots marching. Jesus stood up. He woke up his friends. Now is the time, he said gently. Everything that was written about me, what God has been telling his people all through the long years, it is all coming true. And into the night, with burning torches and lanterns, with swords and clubs and armor, they came, an army of soldiers. Judas led them straight to Jesus so that they could arrest him. Jesus was waiting for them. Jesus knew that they were going to come. So here's Jesus. 
his disciples and here's Judas leading the army of men to arrest Jesus. Peter leapt up, took a sword and tried to defend Jesus. He sliced off a guard's ear and cut it off. Jesus immediately touched the guard and healed him. So Peter leaps up, takes a sword, cuts off the soldier's ear and Jesus' response is to heal him. He heals the guard. He fixes the ear. Peter, he said, this is not the way. Peter didn't realize that no army, no matter how big, could ever arrest, could ever arrest Jesus, not unless Jesus let them. Then Jesus, who had never done anything except love people, was arrested as if he were a criminal. Jesus' friends were afraid, so they ran away and hid in the dark shadows. The guards marched Jesus off and took him to the leaders. The leaders put Jesus on trial. Are you the son of God, they asked. I am, Jesus said. Who do you think you are to call yourself God? You must die for calling yourself the son of God. Only the Romans were allowed to kill prisoners. So the leaders made a plan. We'll tell the Romans this man wants to be our king. And then they will crucify him. But it would be all right. It was God's plan. It was for this reason that I was born into the world, Jesus said. Jesus knows that he came to this earth to die on the cross for us. That was Jesus' mission, to save this world, and that's what he is going to do, and that's what we are going to see tomorrow. I'm going to pray, and then we are done for today. God, I thank you so much for this day, God, and I thank you for the gift of your son, continually just in awe of your son, God, and who he is and what he's done for us, God. I thank you that through him we can have a relationship with you, God, through him in believing in him, God, and confessing with our mouth that we are sinners and believing that he dies on the, died on the cross for us, God, and that he rose three days later, God. I thank you that that gives us a relationship with you, God, and I thank you that that gives us entrance into heaven, God. I thank you that that cleanses us of the sin that so much so characterizes our life. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for listening.